This is Retro Sports Radio. Visit RetroSeasons.com for more sports history. The Montreal Expos faced the Philadelphia Phillies at Veterans Stadium on Friday, April 9, 1982. Montreal was coached by Jim Fanning in his first full season as skipper after having taken over the team from Dick Williams near the end of the 1981 season. He led the team to the NLCS where they eventually lost to the Dodgers. Dallas Green had great success as manager of Philadelphia, bringing the club to the playoffs in each of the past two seasons, including the championship in 1980. But following the Tribune Company's purchase of the Chicago Cubs from the Wrigley family in 1981, they hired Green away from the Phillies to become their new general manager. So Philadelphia hired Pat Corrales to manage the club for the 1982 season. This audio recording is from the Philadelphia Radio Broadcast, featuring announcers Harry Callis and Richie Ashburn. Outstanding spring. The umpire's Paul Runge will work the plate. Eric Gregg at first base, Bob Engel at second, and Jerry Dale will be at third. Out a chilly night at Veterans Stadium. Game two for the Phils. And the first game for the Montreal Expos, who were colded out of all of their scheduled games at Pittsburgh. Start of a weekend series, continuing tomorrow night at 7.05, and then on Sunday afternoon at 1.35. Tomorrow night in the second game of this series, Dick Ruthven goes against Bill Gullickson on Sunday afternoon. It'll be Mike Kruko and Ray Burris. Now the Phillies going with Larry Christensen tonight against Steve Rogers, and we're standing for the playing and singing of our national anthem. We invite you to remain standing and join in singing our own national anthem. our national anthem, the Canadian anthem and the United States anthem as the Phillies take the field for this first in a three-game set with the Montreal Expos. Fans, again this season, you can win a bundle of bucks playing home run payoff in the Daily News because, again this season, that jackpot grows and grows and grows. Tonight's payoff inning will be the sixth inning. Montreal Expos coaches take their posts. That's Bill DeMars coaching at third base, ex-Phillies coach, and coaching at first base, Steve Boros. 
were a couple of games played this afternoon for the Cubs home opener at Wrigley Field in Chicago. The Cubs beat the Mets 5 to nothing. Ferguson Jenkins winning that ball game for Chicago. He got relief help from Lee Smith, and the losing pitcher was Mike Scott. Bill Buckner, a two-run home run for the Cubs in that one. Houston and Atlanta just underway in Atlanta's opener. That'll be Don Sutton against Tommy Boggs, and Houston failed to score in the first. At Cincinnati, the Reds lead San Francisco 2-0 there in the second inning. Dan Schatzeter for San Francisco, and Frank Pastore for Cincinnati. One game of the American League was played this afternoon, and Milwaukee clobbered Toronto in their home opener. Milwaukee 15, Toronto 4, the final score. Pete Vukovic won it for the Brewers, and the loser for the Blue Jays was Mark Bombeck. Home run by Ben Ogilvy for Milwaukee, and Ernie Whip hit one for Toronto in the losing cause. At Atlanta, the Braves had just put two on the board in the first inning on a two-run home run by Dale Murphy. It came off Don Sutton. And Atlanta leads that one at least 2-0. They're still batting in the first inning. Larry Christensen completing his warm-up tosses. L.C. coming off a fine spring. He won his last three outings. And pitched outstanding baseball in his last three outings of the spring. In 17 innings, he struck out 22. Tim Raines the leadoff, the switch-hitting left fielder. Coming off a year in which he hit 304, was runner-up for Rookie of the Year honors to Fernando Valenzuela. He stole 71 bases to lead the National League in that department in only 88 games. Tim Raines, just 22 years of age. Phillies play him way around to the opposite field. Here's the windup by Christensen. First pitch of the ball game is low for a ball. It's one and nothing. Ball and no strikes to Tim Raines. Now the 1-0 pitch on the way. Fastball, pop foul, it's out of play, and it's one ball and one strike. Raines will be followed by Wallace Johnson and then Andre Dawson. Here's the 1-1 pitch on the way to Raines. Swing and a fly ball left field. Gary Matthews is right there waiting. Reigns is out. That's one down here in the top half of the first inning. That'll bring on Wallace Johnson, another switch hitter. He won the second base job from Rodney Scott. Johnson, 25 years of age. Started last season of Memphis where he hit 363. Then went to Denver, hit 298 at Denver, and at the end of the year hit 222 at Montreal. Coming off a good spring, he hit 3.39 in the spring training. Also has good speed. Phillies play him about the same way that they played Reigns, around, way around to the opposite field. Pitch to Johnson is on the outside corner. It's a called strike. A lot of stolen bases, Harry, in the first three uh, batters in the Montreal lineup. They could conceivably get a couple of hundred between the three of them, giving Reigns a uh, hundred or better. Now the pitch on the way. Big swing and a miss and a breaking ball. It's nothing in two to Wallace Johnson. If you project Reigns' production of last year over a full season, he would have stolen about 125 bases. (laughs) Here's the two-strike pitch in the dirt. Johnson has to skip rope to get out of the way of the ball. One ball and two strikes to Wallace Johnson. Now Larry Christensen has a sign from Diaz. One-two pitch. Breaking ball is low. He checked his swing. It's two balls and two strikes to Johnson. Wind up by Christensen, 2-2 pitch. Swing and a foul straight back behind the screen. Still two balls and two strikes to Wallace Johnson with one out and no base runners. Top half of the first inning of this ball game just underway. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball, grounded foul into the Phillies dugout. 
Johnson stays alive at two balls and two strikes. Now Christensen is set. The 2-2 pitch, swaying in a ground foul back behind the plate. Still 2-2 two and two to Wallace Johnson. Christensen coming off the year in which he won four and lost seven. He was 0-1 against Montreal last year. L.C. played with that injury bugaboo last year. Pitch to Johnson, skied in the air to shallow left. Coming on is Gary Matthews, has a lot of time, he squeezes it. And Johnson is out, two down. Well, the Phillies on the first two hitters, Reigns and Johnson playing them way around to the opposite field, and that's where they hit the baseball. That'll bring out Andre Dawson. Dawson, the runner up to Mike Schmidt for MVP honors last year when he hit 302. 24 home runs. Pitch to him is low and away for a ball. It's one and nothing. He did all that without hitting much in September. He's been a bit of a mystery. Didn't hit in September. Didn't hit in the mini series. Did not hit in the league championship series against the Dodgers. And did not hit this spring training. Well, he only hit 240 this spring. He takes another breaking ball away, and it's two and nothing to Andre Dawson. The 2-0 pitch to him. Swing and a long drive. Deep left center field. Maddox back. Out of here, home run, Andre Dawson. So Andre Dawson, in his first at bat of the 1982 season, smashes a home run to left center field, and the Expos lead one to nothing. Well, that's right. He did not miss that one. Uh, Christensen got behind on the count, 2-0. and oh, Gave him a fastball, a little bit on the inside part of the plate, a little bit up, and that's the kind that go out of ballpark. That'll bring on Al Oliver back in the National League. Came over from Texas. He takes a breaking ball low for a ball. Oliver hit 309 at Texas last year. Came over for Larry Parrish and Paul Hostetler. The 1-0 pitch to Oliver. Swing and a base hit to left field. Al Oliver didn't get it all, but he slaps a single to left. And Oliver can hit. There is no question about that. And this man in the Expos lineup gives them a very formidable lineup. Gives them a very uh, good left-hand hitter, which the Expos needed very badly. He's a, he's a hacker. He is not a sophisticated type hitter. He sees that white ball and, and swings away, and he really gets his share of base hits. He passed the 2,000 hit mark, I believe, uh, Sometime last year. Here's Gary Carter, Oliver at first and two down. The pitch to Carter. In the dirt, a good block by Bo Diaz. One and nothing to count. Larry has not been able to get his breaking ball over so far. I don't think he's throwing a strike with it. There were a couple of swings at it. They were fouled off, but they were bad pitches. That hit for Al Oliver was the 2,159th in his career. So he must have had his 2,000th hit in uh, 1980. Here's the 1 0 pitch low for a ball. It's 2 and nothing. Oliver is a lifetime 303 hitter in the major leagues. He's at first base with two down. It's 2 and nothing to Carter. Carter hit 251 last year, 16 home runs. Pitch to him. A little bit of low for a ball. It's 3-0. and So Christensen got the first two men out here in the first, and a home run by Andre Dawson and a base hit by Oliver. He's behind Carter, 3-0. Here's a stretch by L.C., the 3-0 pitch. Called strike on the inside corner. Looked like Carter had the green light, but he opted not to swing at the pitch. It was a pretty decent pitch. Three balls and a strike to Gary Carter. Here's the 3-1 pitch. Inside ball four, he walked in. So Carter is at first base. Oliver moves to second with two outs. It brings on Warren Cromarty. Claude Osteen is coming out to talk to Larry Christensen. 
Well, his new pitching coach, Claude Osteen, coming up. Wants to settle him down, try to keep him out of a, a disastrous inning, try to keep him from digging a, a deeper hole for himself. Fella coming up next, Cromarty, is a, is a good left-hand hitter. Crow hit 304 last year from Montreal, coming off a bad spring. Cromarty hit only 196 this spring. Pat Corrales' philosophy, Rich, in the outfield must be very similar to Cincinnati's in that he seems to bunch the left and right fielder. They'll shade over a little bit, but for Carter and for Oliver and for Dawson, they play the alleys and they give them the lines. Pick off, try at second base, out at second base is Al Oliver. The Phillies executed a pickoff play perfectly and get Al Oliver. It goes from Larry Christensen to Manny Trio. Well, the Expos are down on the first. They score a run on the Dawson homer. Two hits, no errors. Lee one. Out of the end of one half. Montreal one. Phillies coming to bat. This Phillies game is being brought to you on WPEN 950 AM. And while WPEN serves as the temporary home for the Phillies, we welcome you to the Station of the Stars as we play the great stars and great songs of Sinatra. And come dance with me. Barbara Streisand. People. And the very best of the big bands. 950 WPEN, where now it's Phillies baseball. You got a job for Kubota. You got to work for the Iron Tractor. Tough and durable, more compactor. We got machines bound to attract you. We're looking for work. Kubota, we're looking for work. Baseball is here, and Kubota Tractor wants to make your lawn as fantastic as a Grand Slam home run. Your local Kubota dealers are featuring the first hydrostatic mid-sized diesel. The B7100 HST diesel tractor has a 16-horsepower, three-cylinder engine with two- and four-wheel drive, which gives a smoother, more fuel-efficient operation, perfect for even the heaviest home garden work. Make lawn care easier with Kubota. They're looking for work. We're looking for work. Kubota, we're looking for work. Kubota, we're looking for work. Why not stop in and test drive the bright orange durable Kubota tractors in Pennington, New Jersey, Baldwin Tractor and ATV Center, Elmer, New Jersey, Rourke's Farm Supply Incorporated, West Reading, Pennsylvania, Berkeley Power Equipment Company. Well, the Phillies tonight are looking at Steve Rogers, the fellow that was the difference in the division championship series last year when he won two of the five-game series. Two out of the three Expos wins went to Rogers. Pitched brilliantly in that fifth and final game. Also got a base hit to help his own cause. Rogers finished the regular season 12-8. and eight. Yvonne De Jesus will be the first one to face Rogers. Steve just signed a two-year extension to his contract, taking him through the 1985 season. So he'll be around Montreal for quite a few years now. De Jesus was 0 for 3 in the opener yesterday. The pitch to him is high for a ball. It's 1 and nothing. Ball and no strikes to Ivan De Jesus. Now the wind up by Rogers. And the pitch to De Jesus. He pops a foul back up into the upper deck. One ball and one strike. Dave Bristol coaching at third base. Darren Johnson at first for the Phils. Following his strike today, Jesus, he'll be followed by Pete Rose. 1-1 pitch. Over for a called strike. A ball and two strikes. The Houston Astros and Don Sutton have just given up five runs to Atlanta in the first inning. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him with an off-speed pitch. De Jesus goes down swinging. There's one down and that'll bring on Pete Rose. Pete had one hit in the opener and four at bats. He got the first Phillies hit of the 82 season. A game in Atlanta after one inning is Atlanta five and Houston nothing in the Braves home opener. 
Braves are unbeaten in the young season, having swept San Diego. Here's a pitch on the way to Rose, and he takes a called strike at the knees. Expos play Peter out of the opposite field. Now the one-strike pitch. Check swing foul into the photographer's deck and out of it into Dave Bristol. Nothing in two to Pete Rose. Montreal one, Phillies nothing. We're in the first inning. Expos scoring in the top of the first on an Andre Dawson home run. Here's the two-strike pitch. Check swing, bouncing foul into the photographer's deck. And it's still nothing in two. Rogers, although he has pitched outstanding baseball over the years for Montreal, is nonetheless just one game over the 500 mark in his career. Here's the two-strike pitch. Fastball is high. It's one and two. It has only been recently that the Expos have put together really a fine ball club. Now the one-two pitch to Pete Rose. High again, ball two, it's two and two. Rogers winning his season was in 1977 when he was a 17-game winner. Two balls and two strikes with one out. The 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Two straight strikeouts for Steve Rogers. Two down here in the first. That'll bring up Gary Matthews. Matthews was one for four in the opener. Both strikeouts uh, were on bad pitches. De Jesus chased a low breaking ball and Rose chased a high breaking pitch. Well out of the strike zone. Two outs and nobody on base as Matthews steps in. The pitch to Matthews is a slow curveball and misses low for a ball, one and nothing. Now the wind up by Rogers. 1 0 pitch, fastball, grounded to deep short, blob by Spire, long throw, got him by a stride. And the Phillies are down in order in the first, no runs, hits, or errors, and none left. At the end of one inning, the score, Montreal 1, fills nothing. Hi, this is Bill Campbell, reminding you to be sure and join me for today in Major League Baseball, 30 minutes before each and every Phillies baseball game. Also remember that due to a 76ers conflict, this game is being heard on WPEN 950. Normally... Your official home of the Phillies is 1210 WCAU AM. Harry Callis, Andy Musser, Richie Ashburn, Chris Wheeler, and Tim McCarver bring you all the exciting play-by-play action. Then, after the game, I'll return with Major League Baseball today. Once again, this is Bill Kemp reminding you that this game is being brought to you on WPEN 950 due to a 76ers conflict. But normally, remember your official home of the Phillies is 1210 WCAU AM. Baseball action continues tomorrow when the Phillies meet the Expos at Vet Stadium. The action begins at 635 right here on the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. We move to the second inning with Montreal leading by a score of one to nothing. And let's pause here. Ten seconds for station identification. This is the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. The morning team. With Niagara. Sonsini. Gannon. Dillard. Great stars. Great songs. Six till 10 a.m. Weekdays on. 950 WPEN Philadelphia. Warren Crobarty leads off for the Expos. He was a bat in the last inning, but Al Oliver was picked off second base. Crow, the left-hand hitter, wind up by Christensen. Pitch to Crow Marty. A fastball is looped foul down the third base side. It'll be out of play. I'd like to acknowledge the nice telegrams from our good buddy Mike Caprato and Nelson Cohen and all the gang. Appreciate it. We're in the second inning with the Expos leading it one to nothing. 
A one-strike pitch to Crow Marty. Swing and another looping foul down the left field side. It's out of play. And Christensen has the jump on Crow Marty. Nothing in two. Crow Marty, who played first last year, has been moved out to the outfield with the presence of Al Oliver. Here's the two-strike pitch. In the dirt for a ball. One ball and two strikes to Warren Cromarty. He'll be followed by Tim Wallach and then Chris Barr. Larry Christensen has the sign. Here's the one-two pitch. Check swing foul on a changeup. Cromarty stays alive at a ball and two strikes. Expos here tomorrow night again at 7.05. Dick Ruthman against Bill Gullickson on Sunday afternoon. Mike Kruko and Ray Burris. Cromarty takes a breaking ball low for a ball. It's two and two. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a fly ball left field. Gary Matthews is there. He makes the catch. Pro Marty is out. Matthews has been busy in the early going. One down, and that'll bring on Tim Wallach. Wallach, the third baseman, getting a shot with a trade of Larry Parrish. Got 236 last year. Playing primarily in the outfield. Here's a pitch to Wallach. Swing and a fly ball right field. Pretty well hit, but Vukovic back near the warning track makes the catch. So Wallach is out on one pitch. That's two down, and that'll bring up Chris Spire. Spire had to win back his shortstop job. The Expos acquiring Frank Tavares in the offseason. The Expos have pretty good backup in the infield with Frank Tavares and Rodney Scott there. Not only have backup infielders, but they have... Great speed sitting on the bench. Here's the pitch on the way to Spire, and it's over for a called strike. Now the one strike pitch to Parrish. A little bit low for a ball. A ball and a strike, rather to Spire. A ball and a strike to Chris Spire. Two outs, no base runners. Second inning, one nothing Montreal on Dawson's first inning homer. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Spire takes a strike called inside quarter. A ball and two strikes to him. Now Christensen winds. Here's the 1-2 pitch to Spire. Slider didn't miss by much. Christensen thought it was there. Bo Diaz thought it was there. But Paul Rungi didn't, and he's the one that counts, and it's 2-2 two and two to Chris Spire. Christensen has not been throwing his slider for strikes in the early going. That was close. 2-2 pitch. That one didn't miss by much either. Full count to Chris Spire. Now the 3-2 pitch. Swing and a pop foul down the first base side. It's out of play. Still three and two to Spire with two outs and no base runners. Wind up by Christensen, 3-2 pitch. Low ball four, he lost him. Second walk given up by Christensen in the game. That is uncharacteristic for him. He had a great spring and walked very few batters. In his career, he has been on the top ten control artists in the National League. Fire at first base, two down. Here's Steve Rogers, the pitcher. Rogers' lifetime, a 138 hitter. Here's a stretch by Christensen, and the pitch to Rogers. Swings and he misses. One strike to Steve Rogers. Here's a stretch by Larry Christensen. And the one-strike pitch. Swing and a punch foul down the right field side. It'll be out of play. Christensen in front of Rogers. Nothing in two.
L.C. stretches the two-strike pitch. Called strike three, struck him out. First strikeout for Christensen. Down go the Expos in the second with no runs, no hits, no errors. They leave one. Out of the end of one and a half, Montreal leading the Phillies one to nothing. You know, the American car owner has been taking it on the chin for too long. It's time to fight back. That's what America's new car revolution is all about. And it's only at participating Chrysler Plymouth dealers. They've got the cars that fight inflation. Reliant K, Horizon, Champ, and LeBaron. 20 front-wheel drive models. 19 that get 40 miles per gallon highway or better. Join the fight. Join America's new car revolution. At Kuhn Motors in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Baseball. And baseball in Philadelphia means the Phillies. Baseball's best. Fed Stadium and everywhere the Phillies play comes alive with baseball, Philadelphia style. Don't miss an exciting minute right here on the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. And remember, this game is on WPEN 950 due to a 76ers conflict. Normally, the radio home of the Phillies is 1210 WCAU AM. Well, we move to the bottom half of the second inning of a one to nothing ball game. Montreal leading it on a home run by Andre Dawson. Mike Schmidt will lead off for the Phils. Schmidt to be followed by George Vukovic and then Gary Maddox. This broadcast is authorized and our broadcasting rights granted by the Philadelphia Phillies solely for the entertainment of our audience and any reproduction, rebroadcast, or other use of the description and accounts of this game without the express written consent of the Philadelphia Phillies is prohibited. Mike Schmidt was 0 for 2 in the opener. He walked a couple of times. Expos shade him to left and they play him deep and the pitch to Schmidt is over at the knees for a called strike. One strike to Mike Schmidt. There's a wind up by Rogers and the pitch to Schmidt tried to check his swing on a low breaking ball and did and the count is one ball and one strike. Wind up by Rogers. 1-1 one, one pitch. Wide for a ball. It's 2-1. and one. They had 26,000 people, almost 27,000 in uh, Chicago today for their opener at Wrigley Field. That's quite a turnout for the winner they're having out there. Here's the 2-1 pitch to Schmidt. Nubber off the end of his bat, trickling to first to Al Oliver. Flips to Rogers, covering in time to get Schmidt. And there's one down here in the second. That'll bring on George Vukovic. George getting his first at bat in the 1982 season. And the Cubs treated that 26,000-plus for the 5 to nothing win. Fergie Jenkins and Lee Smith combining on the shutout. Bill Buckner, a two-run home run. There's a wind-up by Rogers. The pitch is a fastball. It's over at the knees for a called strike. One strike to George Vukovic with one out. One strike pitch. Breaking ball, swing, and a miss. Nothing in two to Vukovic. Rodgers has his sign from Carter. Here's the two-strike pitch. Missed inside for a ball, one and two. Ball and two strikes to George Vukovic with one down. Here's the one-two pitch to Vukovic. He fouls it back up through the screen. That is still a ball and two strikes to him. Gary Maddox waiting on deck. Yeah. 
One-two pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Struck him out with a curveball. That's the third strikeout for Rogers. Out number two here in the second. That'll bring on Gary Maddox. Maddox supplied all of the Phillies' offense on opening day yesterday. Knocked in both runs with a single and a home run. Two for four this season. The pitch to Gary Maddox, fastball, is a called strike in the inside corner. Wind up by Rogers, one strike pitch. Breaking ball, swing and a miss. Nothing and two to Gary Maddox. Hey, Rogers is unusually sharp <laughs> for this early in the season with all these pitches. And not having pitched for quite some time. The pitch on the way, grounded foul down the third base side. Rogers, I think, tuned up for his start last a week ago today or on Saturday. Supposed to start at Pittsburgh. He's been staying ahead of the hitters and throwing all of his pitches for strikes. Here's the 0-2 pitch to Gary Maddox. Swing and a foul. Tippy struck him out. Fourth strikeout for Rodgers. Phillies down and turned in the second. No runs, hits, or errors, and none left. And at the end of two, Montreal leads the Phillies one to nothing. Baseball action continues tomorrow when the Phillies meet the Expos at Vet Stadium. The action begins at 6.35 right here on the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. Well, it's the Phillies and the Expos again tomorrow night at 7.05. Dick Ruthman going for the Phillies against Bill Gullickson. And then on Sunday afternoon, it'll be Mike Kruko against Ray Burris, 1.35. Remember, on Sunday, Easter Sunday, all fans 14 or under will receive a free chocolate Philly fanatic. So get your tickets now and see the Phils and the Expos play the special kind of exciting National League Baseball. And on Sunday, pick up baseball's best mascot in milk chocolate. Tim Raines will lead off for Montreal here in the third. Raines flied out to left his first time up. Phillies against Montreal last year won four and lost seven. Here's the pitch to Reigns, and he takes a strike called inside corner. Nothing and one to Tim Reigns. Phillies couldn't win a game in Montreal. They were 0 for 5 up there. They did play pretty well here, 4 out of 6, but uh, had, couldn't, could not win up there. Pitch to Reigns. He tried to check his swing. He committed himself on a low breaking ball. It's nothing and 2 to Tim Reigns. So Reigns quickly in the hole. No balls and 2 strikes. Wind up by Christensen, two-strike pitch. Missed outside with a fastball, one ball and two strikes to Reigns. Here's the one-two pitch to Reigns. Ground ball hit to second baseman Manny Trio. He has it in throws, and Reigns is out. That's one down. That'll bring on Wallace Johnson, the second baseman. Johnson comes out of Gary, Indiana. He's 25 years old. Third inning baseball, Montreal leading one to nothing on an Andre Dawson homer in the first. (laughs) 
Wallace Johnson standing in. Here's the pitch to him, and it's a called strike on the inside corner. One strike to Johnson. Johnson is switch hitter like Reigns batting left against Christensen. Wind up by Christensen, one strike pitch. In the dirt for a ball, it's one ball and one strike to Johnson. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. It's low, ball two, two balls and a strike to Johnson. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a bouncing ball. Tap down the first base side. Foul, 2-2. Two and two. And Atlanta's now in the third inning. Braves 5 and Houston nothing in the third. Cincinnati leads the Giants 3-0 at the end of four innings. That giant ball club traded their entire starting rotation. Hard to believe. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a high fly ball center field. Maddox shading him to left center weights and makes the catch. Johnson is out. Two down and that'll bring up Andre Dawson. Dawson homered his first time up. Billy's in the infield playing around to pull. Also in the outfield. Pitch to Dawson is a breaking ball outside for a ball, one and nothing. Ball of no strikes to Andre Dawson. 1-0 pitch to him. Low for a ball, it's two and nothing. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Just missed again, ball three, three and oh to Dawson. Al Oliver waiting on deck. Rio pitch to Dawson. He has a green light and slams a base hit to left field. Matthews takes it on two hops. And Andre Dawson at first with his second hit of the ball game. Hit number three for the Expos off Christensen. And that'll bring on Al Oliver. Now Dawson's had two swings. He's... Hit a home run, and he really smoked a line drive on a pretty good 3-0 pitch. It was a borderline strike, but he was going to swing. He did, and shot it over De Jesus' head. Here's the pitch to Oliver. Fastball is inside for a ball. It's one and nothing to Al Oliver. Billy's outfield now moves... More straight away, they had been playing him to the opposite field. Oliver uses all fields. Here's the pitch on the way to Oliver, and a breaking ball misses, and it's two balls and no strikes to Al Oliver. Dawson at first base, two down. Dawson has to be watched. He stole 24 bases last year. Christensen does go that way, and Andre Dawson gets back. Now the stretch by Christensen. And the pitch on the way to Oliver. Hard ground ball knocked down by P. Rose. Picks it up, tags the bag, and Oliver is out. So are the Expos in the third. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one left. We go to the bottom half of the third inning with a score. Montreal one, Phillies nothing. What's this revolution all about? America's new car revolution. Well, if you want a well-built car that gets good gas mileage, it means you've got a lot more than imports to choose from. 20 front-wheel drive models, 19 cars that get 40 miles per gallon highway or better. Reliant K, Horizon, LeBaron, all at participating Chrysler Plymouth dealers. Declare war on skimpy selection. Battle long waits and high prices for foreign-made parts. Join America's new car revolution at J. Harold Murkey in Mannheim, Pennsylvania. 
We hope you're enjoying this Phillies baseball game. Normally, the official station for Phillies baseball is 1210 WCAU-AM. But due to a 76ers conflict, this Phillies game is on WPEN 950. Remember, each broadcast begins 30 minutes before the first pitch with Bill Campbell and Major League Baseball Today. Then, Phillies warm-up just before the game. Next, exciting play-by-play with Harry Callis, Andy Musser, Richie Ashburn, Chris Wheeler, and Tim McCarver. After the game, it's star of the game. And then Bill Campbell returns with Today in Baseball. That's baseball's very best, from pre to post game and all the action in between. Don't miss an exciting minute. Remember, this game is being brought to you on WPEN 950 due to a 76ers conflict. Normally, your official station for Phillies baseball is 1210 WCAU-AM. Well, after this series with Montreal, tomorrow night at 7.05 and Sunday at 1.35, the Phillies go on a road trip. The next time you can see the Phillies against those hard-hitting St. Louis Cardinals, Lottie Smith and company will be in Friday night, April 23rd at 8.05. Saturday afternoon, the 24th at 1.15. Sunday afternoon, the 25th at 1.35. Leading off for the Phillies is Bo Diaz, the catcher, and he takes one inside for a ball, one and nothing. Diaz had one hit and four at bats yesterday. Rogers pitched to him as low for a ball, and it's 2-0 to Bo Diaz. Diaz to be followed by Manny Trio and then Larry Christensen. There's a wind-up by Rogers in the 2-0 pitch. Swing, he had a cut, and he fouls it back to the screen. It's 2-1 to Diaz. Rodgers has retired all six that he's faced, four of them by strikeouts. Here's the 2-1 pitch to Diaz. High fly ball, right center field. Right there is Warren Cromarty. And the right fielder makes the grab, and Diaz is out, one down. That'll bring on Manny Trio. Trio hitless in the opener and four at bat. One down, third inning. Rodgers in his career has had four one-hit games. Two of them coming against the Phillies. One of them early in his career. Broken up by Jose Pagan. The pitch to Trio is over for a called strike. And a couple of years ago by Dave Rader in the eighth inning. Pitch to Trio is popped foul over the screen. Rogers in front of him, nothing in two. The American League con- Canadian contingent did not have a very good day today in their opener at home. They lost to Milwaukee 15 to 4. Pitch to Trio, fastball inside for a ball. It's one and two. Ball and two strikes to Manny Trio. One-two pitch. Slider missing outside for a ball. It's two and two. We're in the third inning at Veterans Stadium. Montreal leading one to nothing on a Dawson home run. The two-two pitch to Trio. Swing and a bouncing ball. Tap to second. Wallace Johnson can't handle it. Trio safe at first base. Wallace Johnson, the second baseman, charging the ball. Should have made the play, and it'll be an error on Wallace Johnson. That was really a routine play. The ball bounced right up to him about waist high and just flipped it out of his glove. They say if Wallace Johnson is going to have a problem in the major leagues, it would be with his fielding. Trio is the first Phillies base runner on the air on Johnson. Here's Larry Christensen. The stretch by Rogers. LC down to bunt takes a strike called. One strike to Christensen. Christensen got a couple of hits to win himself ball games in Florida in spring training, but he's up there to bunt here on the first pitch. Rogers stretches. 
He's down to butt again, and he drops a butt out in front of the plate. Fielded by Carter, throws the second for a force on Trio. So the sacrifice is not good, as Christensen is safe at first on a fielder's choice. Carter goes to Spire for the force on Trio at second for out number two. Larry Christensen at first base with two down. It'll bring on Yvonne de Jesus. That was not really a bad bunt, but it was bunted up in the air just far enough, so Trio had to hold a little bit at first, see that nobody would catch it, and that that cost him to play at second. Here's De Jesus with Christensen at first base and two outs. Third inning of a one nothing game, Montreal leading. The pitch to De Jesus... Breaking ball, strike called at the knees. Yvonne struck out his first time up. Here's a stretch by Rogers. And the pitch today, Jesus. Ground ball hit to short. Glove by Spire. Flips to Johnson for the force on Christensen. And the Phillies are out of the third with no runs, no hits. There was one Montreal error and one man left. The end of three innings, Montreal one, and the Phillies nothing. Coke is it. Coke is it. The most refreshing way to make the most of every day. And wherever you go and whatever you do, there's something big waiting for me and you. Coke is it. The biggest taste you've ever found. Coke is it. The one you did. Baseball action continues tomorrow when the Phillies meet the Expos at Bet Stadium. The action begins at 6.35 right here on the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. Well, baseball's best mascot, the Philly Fanatic, celebrates his fourth birthday on Saturday afternoon, April 24th. The theme for this year's party will be Philly Fanatic, This Is Your Life. All youngsters 14 or under will receive an 80-page activity book depicting the Fanatic's life. The book includes puzzles, cutouts, and games. MAB Paints will sponsor the book. To get your tickets now and plan on coming to the Fanatics' fourth birthday party on Saturday afternoon, April 24th. The end of three innings of play. Montreal are running three hits. Phillies no runs and no hits. For more play-by-play in the fourth, here's Rich Ashford. Okay, Harry. Gary Carter will lead it off for the Expos. He'll be followed by Cromartie and Wallach. Andre Dawson hit a two-out home run in the first inning for Montreal. That's the only run on the board. Carter walked his first time up. Phillies have only had one base runner, and that was Manny Trio on Wallace Johnson's air. Christensen ready with a first pitch to Gary Carter. Fly ball, broken bat. De Jesus back under the ball, makes a catch. Christensen saw Carter's bat off with a fastball, and Carter's out on one pitch. A little pop to Ivan De Jesus. One down, the batter will be right fielder Warren Cromartie, who flied to left his first time up. This is the Expos' first game, of course. They sat in Pittsburgh for four straight days couldn't play there. This is a, the Phillies' second game. Camardi takes low and inside. Ball one. Christensen right back with a pitch. Bounces up there. 2-0 and the count. Phillies like to throw Camardi a lot of off-speed pitches, which is all right if you get them over, but if you don't, you drop behind in the count what Christensen has done here. Probably have to come in with a fastball. He does, and a base hit in the left center field. 
Matthews up with the ball. Cromarty takes a big turn by first and goes back. He'll hold with a single. Probably could have made second easily because the throw from the outfield was way wild. Let's pause here for station identification on the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. Joe Niagara. Peggy Lee. Andy Hopkins. Frank Sinatra. Brady and Hurst. Tommy Dorsey. Kim Martin. Tony Bennett. Great stars. And great songs all day long. On 950 WPEN, Philadelphia. Third baseman Tim Wallach, the batter. Cromarty on first, one out. Christensen out of the stretch, goes to first. Cromarty is safe. Wallach flied to deep right his first time up. Big, strong right-hand batter, Tim Wallach. Pitch to him is high and inside, ball one. Cromarty single, the fourth Expos hit. They have a run on four hits. Cromarty now is called time, and he must have an equipment problem, maybe a shoe. That's what it is, his left shoe... Probably one of the cleats or spikes. I don't know what he's going to do. He's walking around down there with just one shoe on, trying to borrow a shoe, I think, from somebody if he can get the right size. Now somebody has given him a shoe. will play the Expos tomorrow night at 7.05 and then a Sunday afternoon game at 1.35. Camardi can't seem to get his shoe tied. Kind of hard to tie it with those uh, batting gloves on. There he goes. Ball one to count to Tim Wallach. Camardi's at first one down. We're in the top of the fourth inning with the Expos leading one to nothing. Christensen goes to first. Cromarty is safe. Eric Gregg, the first base umpire, making the call. Eric out of Philadelphia. Christensen to first again. Cromarty is safe. Amos Otis has just hit a grand slam home run against the Detroit Tigers. They're leading at least four to nothing now in the first inning. That was off Jack Morris. Wallach, a hot shot base hit inside third into the outfield. Extra bases. Matthews comes up with the ball. Wallach will go into second with a double, and Cromarty stops at third. Wallach really smoked the ball between Mike Schmidt and the third base bag. And Christensen's in a little fourth inning trouble here with runners at second and third, one out. And the batter shortstop Chris Spire, who walked his first time up. There is a base open. They may walk Spire to get to the pitcher. Steve Rogers will see. I think they're going to pitch the spire and they're going to bring the infield in tight. That's what they're going to do. Spire never hits too much, but he seems to hit well against the Phillies. Christensen's pitch. Fly ball right field, deep enough to score the run. Vukovic is back. Under the ball, makes the catch. Tagging at third is Cromarty. He will score easily. And the Expos lead it two to nothing. Tim Wallach moving up from second to third with two men away now. A sacrifice fly and a run batted in. For Chris Spire. And the Expos lead it two to nothing. Pitcher Steve Rogers, the batter. He struck out his first time up. Wallach's at third, two outs. Christensen will pitch out of a windup to Rogers. Ground ball to Rose. He backhands, goes to first, beats Rogers to the bag by a step, and that'll retire the side. But the Expos, one run, two hits, one left on. Phillies batting in the home fourth with the Expos leading two to nothing. Compare Gerard IRA. 
Steve Kandel did. As a financial plan, I would definitely recommend a Girard IRA account to my clients. In fact, have done so. I had checked around in the various banks and various alternatives and found that Girard on that given day was paying the highest fixed interest rate in town. One of the things I was concerned about was the security of my investment, and I chose Girard because of its security. There is really no comparison. Girard's fixed rate is 14.55%. Girard! Substantial penalty for early withdrawal. Member FDIC. Trees are green and everywhere Flowers breaking through Signs of spring are in the air Each day feels so new And with the cold, fresh taste of milk I'm up and on my way today Feeling good, so refreshed And I love to feel this way So pure, so good, so fresh today. Milk is the fresher, refresher. I'm feeling good and I love to feel this way. With the cold, fresh taste of milk. Spring feelings here to stay. Yeah, milk is the fresher, refresher. Dairy farmers. The Phillies batting here in the home fourth. It'll be Pete Rose, Gary Matthews, and Mike Schmidt, the first three batters, against Steve Rogers, who has not given up a hit as yet. And only one base runner when second baseman Wallace Johnson bobbled Manny Trio's easy ground ball for an error. Rose struck out his first time up. Pete has one hit and five times at bat. Here in the early going, hits a ground ball towards second. Johnson has this on one hop, fires to first, and Rose is out on one pitch. Rodgers is really mixing his pitches well, going fastball, slider, slow curve, change up. Gary Matthews steps in. He grounded out to the shortstop his first time up. Gary is one for five on the season. First pitch to Matthews. Line drive, center field, base hit. A clean line drive single by Gary Matthews, and that's the first Phillies hit of the ball game. Matthews on first, one down, and the batter Mike Schmidt, who grounded out to the pitcher his first time up. Schmidt is still looking for his first base hit. He's 0 for 3 here in the first two ball games. Expos lead two to nothing. We're on the bottom of the fourth. Schmidt had a good spring. He broke that toe on his left foot in a game against the Yankees, the last uh, game the Phillies played in Florida. Schmidt takes a called strike. Rodgers with the next pitch. He misses high for a ball. One and one to count. Matthews at first one down. A ball and a strike on Schmidt. Rodgers checks the runner at first. The pitch. Schmidt takes a call strike. Perfect pitch. Just catching the outside corner. A ball and two strikes on Schmidt. Can't believe uh, Steve Rogers can be this sharp this early. He's ready again. The one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Schmidt strikes out on a bad pitch this time. Chased a high fastball. That's the fifth strikeout for Steve Rogers. So two outs with Matthews on first. And the batter right fielder, George Vukovic, who struck out his first time up. Opposing pitchers throw Vukovic a lot of off-speed pitches. But Rogers struck him out on his first time up. Rogers steps off the pitching rubber. Time is called.
Expos played George Vukovic slightly to pull and play him pretty deep. Vukovic takes a breaking ball over for a called strike. Vukovic's home run that sent the miniseries into the fifth game last year. Rogers sets the pitch. Breaking ball is high and outside. A ball and a strike on George Vukovic. Expos lead 2 0. We're in the bottom of the fourth. Rodgers with a pitch. Bounces up there. Good block by Gary Carter. Two and one the count to Vukovic. Rodgers has thrown Vukovic three off speed pitches. Matthews leads off first, two outs. Rogers sets the pitch. Pop foul, left side. Carter can't reach it. Wasn't hit high enough. It bounced right in front of the Montreal dugout and wasn't hit high enough in the air for Gary Carter to catch up to the ball. Another off-speed pitch. Two and two the count to Vukovic. One way to get pitchers to stop throwing you those kind of pitches is to start hitting them. Matthews might try to steal a base. We'll see. Here's the pitch. Line drive, right center field, base hit. Matthews rounding second. He'll go to third and... George Vukovic lines a single into right center field. That was off a Steve Rogers fastball. Rogers threw Vukovic one fastball. And Vukovic did not miss it. He smoked it into center field for a single. So runners on first and third, two down, and the batter, center fielder Gary Maddox. Gary struck out his first time up. Maddox, two for five here in the first two ball games. One of those hits a home run in the game against the Mets. Two on, two outs. Rodgers out of the stretch. The pitch is low and outside, ball one. Matt, uh, Maddox calls time. He wants the pine tar rag. So Steve Rodgers... And a little two-out trouble here for the first time in the ball game. Matthews, the first runner to reach second base and also third. Rogers ready. Low and outside, ball two. Two and over the count to Maddox. Rogers shaking his head on the mound. He missed the strike zone by a lot with his first two pitches. Matthews leads off first. Vukovic off first. Two old pitch by Rogers. Pop foul behind home plate and out of play. Two and one the count to Maddox. Quite a few people here with this kind of weather. 2-1 pitch. Strike called. Maddox did not like the call by Paul Rungi, and he is saying something to Rungi. Don't see Gary Maddox squawk about too many pitches. The count is now 2-2. Two two. Rogers ready again. The pitch. Fly ball hit well, right center field. Dawson going over, makes the catch. Maddox hit it hard, but Andre Dawson making the play, and that'll retire the side. No runs, two hits, two left on. After four full innings, it's still the Expos two, the Phillies nothing. Hi, this is Bill Campbell, reminding you to be sure and join me for today in Major League Baseball. 30 minutes before each and every Phillies baseball game. 
Also remember that due to a 76ers conflict, this game is being heard on WPEN 950. Normally, your official home of the Phillies is 1210 WCAU AM. Harry Callis, Andy Musser, Richie Ashburn, Chris Wheeler, and Tim McCarver bring you all the exciting play-by-play action. Then, after the game, I'll return with Major League Baseball today. Once again, this is Bill Campbell, reminding you that this game is being brought to you on WPEN 950 due to a 76ers conflict. But normally, remember your official home of the Phillies is 1210 WCAU AM. Baseball action continues tomorrow when the Phillies meet the Expos at Bet Stadium. The action begins at 6.35 right here on the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. Expos batting here in the top of the fifth. It'll be the top of their batting order. Tim Raines, Wallace Johnson, and Andre Dawson to face Larry Christensen. Well, kids, the first giveaway day of the spring is coming up on Sunday, April 25th when the Phillies play Lonnie Smith and the St. Louis Cardinals. All kids 14 or under will receive a free Phillies maroon color vinyl jacket, a great-looking item, and it's compliments of the Phillies and Wendy's. A great giveaway item for baseball's best fans on Sunday, April 25th when the Phillies play the St. Louis Cardinals at 135. Tim Raines, the batter. Tim is 0 for 2 in the game. He's flied to left and grounded out to second base. First pitch to him. Grounded foul. Pass first. Strike one on Reigns. Christensen has done a good job of keeping Reigns and Wallace Johnson off the bases so far. The breaking ball to Reigns is low and inside. One and one the count. One-one pitch. Fly ball, left field, slicing foul and out of play. A ball and two strikes on Reigns. Get Reigns and Wallace Johnson on the bases and they will run wild. Christensen ahead in the count, one and two. Here's the pitch. Struck him out. Fastball inside corner. Reigns does not like the call by Paul Rungi. He's saying something. Christensen gets a strikeout. His second of the ball game, and there's one away. Paul Rungi getting a little static from the hitters tonight. Here's Wallace Johnson, who has flied out twice to the outfield. Both Reigns and Wallace Johnson are switch hitters. Christensen's first pitch is a strike called outside corner. Johnson didn't like that call. He's saying something to Paul Rungi. Next pitch is fouled off out of play. Two strikes a count on Johnson. Johnson is out of uh, Gary, Indiana. He's had a good minor league career. He led one of his leagues in hitting. Two-strike pitch. Bounces up there. One and two to count. Expos lead 2-0. We're in the top of the fifth. Christensen gets his sign from Bo Diaz. He winds, here's the pitch, grounded towards first. Pete Rose grabs on two hops, steps in the bag. Johnson is out. Two outs here in the fifth, and the batter will be Andre Dawson, who's had a good night with a first-inning home run and a third-inning single. That fellow, Bob Baylor, who was three for three against the Phillies in the opener, he didn't even play against the Cubs today. Dawson takes a call strike. Ferguson Jenkins shut out the Mets by 5-0 in Chicago. 
One strike pitch is low. One and one the count. Dawson only hit 240 some in spring training this year, but he's hit the ball hard twice tonight. He pops one, shallow right field, coming in as Vukovic. He's there, makes a catch. Christensen has a strong inning as the Expos go out down in order. Phillies batting in the bottom of the fifth with the Expos leading two to nothing. If you're tired of feeding your gas guzzler and weary of sticker shock when you look at new cars, join America's new car revolution at participating Chrysler Plymouth dealers. You'll find freedom there. Freedom from gas pains and sticker shock. Freedom to choose from the largest selection of gas-saving cars available anywhere. See the cars for the times, the sporty LeBaron and the revolutionary Reliant K. Join America's new car revolution at Union Garage in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Phillies will play these Expos again tomorrow night at 7.05 and also Sunday at 1.35. Of course, Easter Sunday. And uh, on Easter Sunday, all fans 14 or under will receive a free chocolate Philly Fanatic. Nice item. Bo Diaz will lead off here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Diaz flied to right his first time up. Phillies trailing in the ball game, two to nothing. Steve Rogers with the first pitch. It's over for a called strike. Diaz is one for five here in the first two ball games. One strike pitch bounces up there. One and one the count. Diaz, Trio, and Christensen, the first three batters, here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Rodgers gets his sign from Gary Carter. 1-1 pitch. Diaz, fly ball, right field. Comarty going back. He's under the ball and makes the catch. So Diaz is out on a long fly ball. One down, the batter will be Manny Trio, who reached base on an error his first time up. Cincinnati is beating the Giants 6 to nothing after six innings. Dan Schatzeter started for the Giants. He knocked out Frank Pastore pitching that shutout for the Reds. First pitch to Trio is a called strike. Atlanta 5, Houston nothing. They're in the sixth inning now. Dale Murphy with a two-run homer for the Braves. Trio takes inside. One and one the count. California leads Minnesota one nothing. They're playing in the Metrodome in Minneapolis. That's after two innings. One one pitch is high. Kansas City four, Detroit nothing. They're in the third. That four runs on Amos Otis's grand slam home run in the first inning. 2-1 2-1 pitch to Trio. Fouled back. 2-2 two two the count. Expos playing Trio straight away. The Lays only have two hits off Rogers. Both singles. Trio takes a call third strike, and he doesn't like the call by Paul Rungi. 
lot of squawking by the hitters. And after looking at that pitch on instant replay, I can see why it was only about eight inches inside, might have even been high. Six strikeout for Steve Rogers, two down, the batter's Larry Christensen. A swing and a miss by Christensen, strike one. He reached base on a fielder's choice his first time up. Two outs and nobody on. Christensen takes low, one and one to count. Most players do not mind a, a missed call at home plate if it's the first or second strike. It's that third strike that sends you back to the dugout. Christensen swings and misses at a pitch. One and two the count. Rogers winds. Christensen strikes out on a bad ball. Seven strikeouts for Rogers, and the Phillies go down in order. At the end of five full innings, it's Montreal two, the Phillies nothing. Springtime means baseball, and baseball in Philadelphia means the Phillies. Baseball's best. Fed Stadium and everywhere the Phillies play comes alive with baseball, Philadelphia style. Don't miss an exciting minute right here on the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. And remember, this game is on WPEN 950 due to a 76ers conflict. Normally, the radio home of the Phillies is 1210 WCAU AM. Hey, look at all those bags of Whoppers malted milk candy you brought me. Oh, this is great, just great. I really need some whoopee now. All that chocolatey coated crunchy malted milk candy. I can't wait to eat them. Harry, you brought me whoopee Whoppers. What a friend, what a pal. Harry, they're empty. Empty? Yeah, since you always eat my Whoppers, I brought you a special kind of Whoppers. Empty bags? Yep, especially for you, but I don't call them empty bags. I call them do-it-yourself Whoppers. Whoopee! <laughs> We hope you're enjoying this Phillies baseball game. Normally, the official station for Phillies baseball is 1210 WCAU AM. But due to a 76ers conflict, this Phillies game is on WPEN 950. Remember, each broadcast begins 30 minutes before the first pitch with Bill Campbell and Major League Baseball Today. Then, Phillies warm up just before the game. Next, exciting play-by-play -play with Harry Callis, Andy Musser, Richie Ashburn, Chris Wheeler, and Tim McCarver. After the game, it's star of the game. And then Bill Campbell returns with Today in Baseball. That's baseball's very best, from pre to post-game and all the action in between. Don't miss an exciting minute. Remember... Montreal batting here in the top of the sixth inning. It'll be Al Oliver, Gary Carter, and Warren Cromartie to face Larry Christensen. Christensen has pitched a pretty good ball game. Steve Rogers has pitched a better one. And we have a full moon sitting over the stadium tonight. It's a cold night, but it's clear. Oliver is one for two with a single. He takes a breaking ball high, ball one. Oliver singled his first time up, grounded out in the third. Pitch to him is a called strike. Catching the outside corner, a ball and a strike on Oliver. One one pitch, change up over for a called strike two. Oliver says he's happy to be back in the National League. Of course, he was with the Pirates for years. Then went to the Texas Rangers. He swings and misses at an off-speed pitch. Christensen gets a strikeout. His third of the ball game. One down. And the batter will be catcher Gary Carter, who has walked and popped out. Carter loves to hit in this ballpark. And he ropes one to left field. Matthews right there, fights the lights and makes the catch. Carter hit the ball hard, but right at Matthews and left. Two outs. 
and we'll pause for station identification on the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. You're tuned to 950 WPEN Philadelphia, the only place to hear the 950 Club with Grady and Hurst, 4 till 6 p.m. weekday afternoons. WPEN 950. Warren Cromartie, the batter, one for two with a single and a run scored. He checks his swing, but it's a called strike. Strike one on Cromartie. Two outs, nobody on. Sixth inning. Pitch just misses inside. One and one the count. Expos lead 2 nothing. Christensen's pitch. Foul left side. Matthews going towards the line. Still going. It's a fair ball and it's in play. Bounces off the fence. Now Cromartie just got the first. He didn't run. The wind must have really carried that ball back. Cromartie hit it. It looked like it was in foul territory. Matthews almost ran right by it. He didn't come close to it. And Cromartie stood at home plate and watched it. Stood there and watched it. And he gets a single. Even though the ball was about six feet fair, it bounced up off the fence. And Cromartie has a single. Unbelievable. Would have been an easy double had he run. Maybe a triple the way the ball bounced around. Here's Tim Wallach, who's one for two with a double. Christensen out of the stretch. Here's the pitch. Inside ball one. That ball really fooled everybody. It fooled me. It fooled Matthews. And it fooled Cromartie. Pitch on the way. It's low. Ball two to Wallach. Looked like when Cromartie hit the ball, it would go into the seats, actually. 2-0 pitch is a called strike. 2-1 to count to Tim Wallach. Cromartie's at first two outs. Expos lead 2-0. We're in the top of the sixth inning. Christensen out of the stretch. Checks the runner. Here's the pitch. Strike two called. Two and two the count. Christensen ready. 2-2 pitch is low. Ball three, full count. Cromartie will be running on this pitch. Getting some action now in the Phillies' bullpen. Here's a 3-2 pitch. Strike three called, and Wallach doesn't like that one. But he's out of there on strikes. Fourth strikeout for Christensen, and that'll retire the side. No runs, one hit, one left on. Phillies batting in the home six. The Expos lead it two to nothing. Gary Matthews going to get killed in left field this year. That ball almost hit him in the head. Reminding you to be sure and join me for today in Major League Baseball, 30 minutes before each and every Phillies baseball game. Also remember that due to a 76ers conflict, this game is being heard on WPEN 950. Normally, your official home of the Phillies is 1210 WCAU AM. Harry Callis, Andy Musser, Richie Ashburn, Chris Wheeler, and Tim McCarver bring you all the exciting play-by-play action. Then, after the game, I'll return with Major League Baseball today. Once again, this is Bill Campbell reminding you that this game is being brought to you on WPEN 950 due to a 76ers conflict. But normally, remember your official home of the Phillies is 1210 WCAU AM. Well, you asked for it, the Daily News home run payoff, and again this year, the payoff jackpot grows and grows. It starts at 1000 bucks, but if the Phillies don't home in the payoff inning, we'll add $50 to the jackpot till some lucky fan wins the big money payoff. It could be thousands, 
even 5000 for a grand slam. Remember, every hit pays off in tickets and cash. Even if there's no hit, you can still win free Phillies tickets. Just use the entry coupon in the Daily News. And yes, again this year, the home run payoff grows and grows. Here's De Jesus swinging for Mike Pearson in Norristown, PA. De Jesus is 0 for 2 in the ball game. The Phillies trail 2 0, bottom of the sixth. De Jesus, Rose, and Matthews, the first three batters against Steve Rogers. Here's a foul ball off the end of De Jesus' bat. The count is 1 and 1. He's swinging for Mike Pearson in our Daily News payoff inning. Mike Pearson from Norristown, PA. De Jesus still looking for his first base hit on the season. Takes high and inside. Two and one the count. Ball two and a strike on De Jesus. Billy's trying to get something going here in the bottom of the sixth inning. De Jesus fouls the pitch back. Two and two the count to Yvonne De Jesus. Steve Rogers has only given up two hits, both singles, in the fourth inning by Matthews and Vukovic. De Jesus takes outside full count to the leadoff hitter. Rogers getting his sign from Gary Carter. Here's the pitch. Low ball four. De Jesus walks. And the Phillies get their leadoff runner on, nobody out. First walk given up by Rogers. We'll send four tickets along to Mike Pearson in Norristown, PA. And the batter will be Pete Rose. Rose has struck out and grounded out. Pete is one for six on the season. He'll be swinging for Anthony, Anthony P. Mazza here in Philadelphia in our Daily News payoff inning. De Jesus at first, nobody out. De Jesus with a good lead off first. Rogers out of the stretch. Here's the pitch. Rose takes high, ball one. Rose faked the bunt, took the pitch. Rose swing for Anthony P. Mazza here in Philadelphia in our Daily News payoff inning. Ball one, the count to Rose. Getting some action down the Expos bullpen. Rogers sets, checks the runner. Here's the pitch. High and outside, ball two. All of a sudden, Steve Rogers has lost the strike zone. Two and oh, the count to Rose. Rose will probably look at a pitch here. We'll see. Rogers walked De Jesus on a 3-2 count. Now he's 2 and nothing to Rose. Rogers goes to first. De Jesus dives back in. He's safe. This is no time to get picked off. Rogers ready again. Out of the stretch. Goes to first again. De Jesus is safe. Don't think it's getting any warmer. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Rose swings, fouls it back. 2-1 the count to Rose. Billy's trail, 2-0, bottom of the sixth. De Jesus at first, nobody out. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Rose takes outside, ball three, just missed outside. Three and one, the count to Rose. Dave Bristol, the third base coach, going through a series of signs. Rogers behind in the count, three and one. Rogers with a pitch. Rose fouls it off on the left side. 
Rose swinging on the 3-1 pitch. And it's a full count. De Jesus will probably be running on this pitch. Rose is swinging for Anthony Mazza of Philadelphia in our Daily News payoff inning. Rogers ready. Goes to first. Close play. De Jesus safe. De Jesus leaning towards second. Almost got picked off. Like he might have slipped a little bit trying to get back into first. Full count to Rose. Rogers is ready. Rose is ready. Here's the pitch. Rose, check swing, foul ball back a home plate. De Jesus was running. We'll go back to first. Wind above the stadium must be blowing pretty hard. Those flags are whipping around up there. Hasn't seen that windy down here inside the stadium. Rogers goes to first. De Jesus is safe. Rogers trying to keep De Jesus close to the bag. Checks the runner again. Goes to first. Safe again. Fifth time, Rogers has thrown to first base, and De Jesus has called time. He wants to dust himself off. These uh, diehard fans haven't had much to cheer about so far. They're trying to get something going. Rogers ready. Here's the pitch. Rose, ground ball to the shortstop. Spire grabs, goes to first. They get Rose. De Jesus running on the pitch. Safe at second base. So De Jesus on second one down as Rose hit the ball sharply, but right at Chris Spire. We'll send four tickets along to Anthony Mazza in Philadelphia. Gary Matthews, the batter. He's swinging for Jack Sermon in Philadelphia. Matthews, one for two with a single. Hitting at 333. De Jesus, a long leadoff second. The pitch to Matthews. Strike called, fastball right through there. Matthews swinging for Jack Sermon. Shelton Avenue in Philadelphia in our Daily News payoff inning. Billy's trying to get on the board here. Rogers out of the stretch. Here's the pitch. Matthews takes a called strike two. Two fastballs right through the heart of the plate. 0-2 oh, the count to Gary Matthews. Hey, Jesus with that long lead. Two-strike pitch. Strike three called. Breaking ball right through the heart of the plate. So Gary Matthews looked at three straight call strikes as Rogers picks up his eighth strikeout. We'll send four tickets along to Jack Sermon in Philadelphia. Mike Schmidt, the batter. Schmitty has grounded out and struck out. He's swinging for Larney Davis, North 18th Street in Philadelphia. De Jesus at second. Two outs now. Rogers ready. Schmidt takes low and outside. Ball one. With a base open, Schmidt probably will not get too much to swing at. Mike is looking for his first base hit on the season. He's 0 for 4 so far in the first two games. He's swinging for Larney Davis in Philadelphia in our Daily News payoff inning. Rogers with a pitch. Outside, ball two. Rogers hasn't come close to the strike zone with his first two pitches on Schmidt. 2 and 0 the count. Schmidt gets on. George Vukovic would bat.
Rogers ready. 2-0 pitch. Is high ball three. Way out of the strike zone. 3-0 the count. To Schmidt, he'll probably get a green light on the 3-0 if Rogers will come anywhere near the strike zone. Schmidt walked a couple of times in that first game against the Mets. 3-0 pitch by Rogers. Strike call. Schmidt evidently was not swinging at that pitch because that was right through the middle of the plate. Three and one to count to Schmidt. De Jesus leads off second. Three one pitch. Strike two called. Slider caught the inside corner. Full count to Schmidt. So Rogers has not backed off on the 3 0 count. He's thrown a couple of strikes. Rodgers gets his sign from Gary Carter. 3-2 pitch. Schmidt fouls it back out of play. That 3-2 pitch to Schmidt might have been a little high, but it was borderline, and Schmidt fouled it off. Rodgers goes through all kinds of grimaces and contortions out on the mound. 3-2 pitch to Schmidt. Ball four, way low and outside. Schmidt walks. So two on, two outs, and the batter, George Vukovic, will send four tickets to Larney Davis in Philadelphia. George Vukovic swinging for Peter A. Marasio. Alliston Road in Springfield, PA. De Jesus at second, Schmidt at first. They represent the tying runs with two outs here in the bottom of the sixth with the Expos leading two to nothing. Vukovic is one for two with a single. Has one of the two Phillies hits. First pitch to him is over for a called strike. Vukovic swinging for Peter Marasio in Springfield, PA. The runners lead off. Rodgers with a pitch. Fastball fouled back. Two strikes on Vukovic. So Rodgers ahead in the count. 0-2 to George Vukovic. Phillies had two runners on in the fourth. They were stranded. Now two runners here in the sixth. Two strikes on George Vukovic. Rogers sets the pitch. Fouled back again. Vukovic trying to hang tough on the two-strike count. Both De Jesus and Schmidt with long leads. Rogers gets his sign. Pitch on the way. Ground ball. Foul pass first. Once again, Rogers throwing Vukovic an off speed pitch. Two on, two outs. Expos lead, 2 nothing. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning, Vukovic up there swinging for Peter A. Marasio in Springfield, PA. Another two-strike pitch. Popped up on the infield. Easy play. Rogers, the pitcher's going to take it. He does. Right by the mound, and that'll retire the side. We'll send four tickets along to Peter Marasio in Springfield, PA. For the Phillies, no runs, no hits, two left on. After six full innings, it's the Expos two, the Phillies nothing. We hope you're enjoying this Phillies baseball game. Normally, the official station for Phillies baseball is 1210 WCAU AM. 
But due to a 76ers conflict, this Phillies game is on WPEN 950. Remember, each broadcast begins 30 minutes before the first pitch with Bill Campbell and Major League Baseball Today. Then, Phillies warm-up just before the game. Next, exciting play-by-play with Harry Callis, Andy Musser, Richie Ashburn, Chris Wheeler, and Tim McCarver. After the game, it's star of the game. And then Bill Campbell returns with Today in Baseball. That's baseball's very best, from pre to post-game and all the action in between. Don't miss an exciting minute. Remember, this game is being brought to you on WPEN 950 due to a 76ers conflict. Normally, your official station for Phillies baseball is 1210 WCAU AM. Baseball action continues tomorrow when the Phillies meet the Expos at Vet Stadium. The action begins at 635 right here on the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. Seventh inning baseball with the Expos still leading two to nothing. Uh, Steve Rogers getting out, getting out of a little sixth inning trouble after walking a couple batters. Larry Christensen has pitched strong baseball, but he's given up a lead, a home run in the first inning to Andre Dawson, and then a a fourth inning run, and that's the scoring in the ball game. Harry Callis for seventh inning play by play. Harry. All right, thank you, Rich. Leading off the Expos will be Chris Spire. He has walked and hit a sacrifice fly to drive in one of Montreal's two runs. So Spire does not have any official at-bats. He leads off Montreal's seventh. He'll be followed by Steve Rogers and then Tim Raines. Harry Christensen has his sign from Diaz, and here's the pitch to Spire. Fastball on the inside corner. It's a called strike. One strike to Chris Spire. Here's a windup by LC in the one strike pitch. Checked his swing. It's low for a ball and it's one and one. First game in a three game set with the Expos. Tomorrow night at 7.05, Dick Ruthven and Bill Gullickson. Here's the one one pitch to Spire. Strike, it's called a ball and two strikes to Chris Spire. Sunday afternoon at 1.35, it'll be Mike Kruko for the Phils and Ray Burris for Montreal. 1-2 pitch. In the dirt for a ball, it's 2-2. Two and two. Montreal with two runs and six hits. Phillies no runs and two hits in the seventh. 2-2 two, two pitch to Spire. Didn't miss by much. A little bit low for a ball, a full count to Chris Spire. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Swing, and he popped him up. Behind third, Yvonne De Jesus, the shortstop, is there, and he makes the grab, and the Spire is out, one down. That'll bring on the pitcher, Steve Rogers. He is struck out and grounded out. One down, the seventh inning. Phillies have left-hander Sparky Lyle and right-hander Warren Brewster up in the bullpen. Might be Christensen's last inning. He is scheduled to be the fourth batter in the bottom half of this inning. Pitch to Rogers. He checks on a low breaking ball. The appeal goes down to first base umpire Eric Gregg, and Gregg says no swing. Ball and no strikes to Steve Rogers. Pitch to Rogers. Swing and a pop-up down the first base side. Pete Rose coming in. He waits. He puts it away, and Rogers is out. Two quick outs for Christensen on a couple of pop-ups, and that'll bring on the top of the order, Tim Raines. Raines has flied out to left. He's grounded out to second, and he has struck out. Christensen has kept the speed burners for Montreal off the bases, Tim Raines and Wallace Johnson. But Andre Dawson has hit a home run. And a sacrifice fly by Chris Spire produced the Expo's second run. Here's the pitch to Reigns. He takes high for a ball. It's one and nothing. Wind up by Christensen in the 1-0 pitch. Missing outside and low for a ball. It's 2-0. Christensen has picked up four strikeouts. He has walked two. 
The 2-0 pitch. Swing, he had a cut, and he fouled it straight back. It's 2-1 to Tim Raines. Phillies play Raines way, way around to the opposite field. Two balls and a strike to Tim Raines with two outs. The 2 1 pitch to Reigns is high for a ball. Falls behind Reigns, 3 and 1. Reigns is a guy you want to make hit his way on. 3 1 pitch to him. Swing and he lost the foul. It's out of play. It's a full count to Tim Reigns. Now Christensen looking down for the sign from Bo Diaz. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Low ball four. He walked him. So Reigns is a base runner for the first time tonight. And watch him. Bo Diaz trots out to talk to Larry Christensen. Well, we'll get a chance, Harry, to see uh, Reigns try to steal. We'll get a chance to see uh, Bo Diaz try to throw him out, I guess. It's going to depend on how well Christensen can hold him to the bag. I think Reigns was only thrown out three times last year. And I'm wondering how they got him three times. The Phillies didn't throw him out once. He stole 71 bases and Tim Raines at first base taking the lead. Here's the stretch by Christensen. Raines starts and stops and the fastball is a called strike on the outside corner to Wallace Johnson. Johnson is nothing for three. A throw to first base. Tim Raines gets back. Ball drops out of the glove of Pete Rose. Tim Raines, runner at first base, two down here in the seventh. Now the stretch by Christensen. He starts and stops, drive to deep right field, but Vukovic is back near the warning track, makes the grab. Wallace Johnson is out, and so are the Expos in the seventh. No runs, no hits, no errors. They leave one. We go to the bottom half of the seventh inning. The score, Montreal two, and the Phillies nothing. You put in some long hours, but once you hit the clock and head on down the road, you know how to relax. So here's to you from the King of Beers. You're ready for a nice cold Budweiser. This bud's for you. There's no one else who does it quite the way you do. So here's to you. You know it's here, there's only one to say. It's what you do. This bud's for you. Sit back and enjoy that distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. When you've got some time to call your own, call for the king of beers. And here's to you. It's coming for you. you do, the king of beers is coming through. For all you do, how about it? Have another bud. For all you do. This bud's for you. Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis. Super dealer Jerry Mazel is breaking down the barriers of new car buying. He knows you're tired of going from dealer to dealer and only finding a few models with good gas mileage. So he's got a super selection, more models of gas-saving Chryslers and Plymouths. Choose from the spiffy LeBaron, the nifty Reliant K, or the thrifty Horizon. A super inventory to make your car shopping a pleasure. Super service, too. To get more out of your car shopping, insist on the super selection you'll find at Jerry Mazel's Atlantic Chrysler Plymouth, Pleasantville, New Jersey. We move to the bottom half of the seventh inning. The fans here at Veterans Stadium taking the seventh inning stretch, and we'll pause ten seconds for station identification. This is the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. Joe Niagara, Peggy Lee, Andy Hopkins, Frank Sinatra, Brady and Hurst, Tommy Dorsey, Kim Martin, Tony Bennett, great stars, and great songs all day long. On 950 WPEN, Philadelphia. We have a defensive change for Montreal. Rodney Scott coming into play second base, replacing Wallace Johnson. And Gary Maddox leads off for the Phillies here in the seventh. Maddox is struck out and lined out to right center field. 
Wind up by Rogers, pitch to Maddox. Swing and a foul out of play. One strike to Gary Maddox. Phillies have just two hits off Rogers. Singles by Gary Matthews and by George Vukovic. Here's a one strike pitch to Maddox. Swings and he misses at a curveball. It's nothing in two to Gary Maddox. Rogers has struck out eight. His career high in a game is 11. He accomplished that twice. The two-strike pitch to Maddox is a fastball high. It's one ball and two strikes to Gary Maddox. He'll be followed by Bo Diaz and then Manny Trio. Rogers winds. Here's the one-two pitch to Maddox. Swing and a bouncing ball tap foul down the third base side. Still a ball and two strikes to Gary Maddox. Phillies a threat in the fourth on a couple of hits. Mild threat in the sixth on a couple of walks. That's been it against Rogers. 1-2 pitch to Maddox. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Blew a fastball by him. Strikeout number nine for Steve Rogers. One down in the seventh, and that'll bring on Bo Diaz, the catcher. Diaz has been up twice. Twice he has flied out to right field. One out and nobody on base. Bottom of the seventh inning. Rodgers pitch to Diaz. Swings and he misses at a breaking ball. One strike to Bo Diaz. Now the wind up by Rodgers. One strike pitch. Line drive. Smoked foul down the left field side. Nothing and two to Bo Diaz. White Sox of the Yankees postponed because of snow in New York. Boston and Baltimore were postponed tonight. Pitch to Diaz. Swing, bouncing ball on the right side to Rodney Scott. He has it in throws, and Diaz is out. That's two down. And it'll bring up Manny Trio, who's been safe on an air and who is struck out. looking for his first hit of the 1982 season. This afternoon, Milwaukee defeated Toronto 15-4. Cubs beat the Mets 5-0. There's a pitch on the way to Trio, and he takes a breaking ball low for a ball 1-0. One-o pitch to Manny. Fastball is over for a called strike. It's one and one. Ball and a strike to Manny Trio with two outs and no base runners. Here's the one-one pitch. High and inside to him, backs him away. Two balls and one strike to Manny Trio. Steve Rogers winds in the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a foul into the upper deck. It's 2-2 two and two to Trio. Glenn Matusik is out of the Phillies dugout. Swing and a bat behind Larry Christensen. Should Trio reach base, he would bat for L.C. The 2-2 pitch to Trio. Swing, fly ball right field. Warren Cromarty is there and he makes the catch. And the Phillies go down in order in the seventh. No runs, hits or errors, none left. At the end of seven, Montreal two, Billy's nothing. We'll go out to be your favorite store. If you need value for your dollar, savings in your pocket, convenience and variety. If you need some place you can count on, who could got the answer? Plus a lot of good old-fashioned policy. Who has got it? We want to be your favorite store. 
What's hours of fun for the entire family? The video computer game by Atari. And this week, Wilco's low, low price is just $138.88. With Atari, you can be a flying ace, a race car champ, a tennis star, or a space pioneer all in one afternoon. Atari uses interchangeable game program cartridges with up to 50 games and variations per cartridge. Plus, color-on-color -color TVs, on-screen digital scoring, realistic sounds, and up to four can play. Get Atari at Wilco. Now only $138.88. And most game program cartridges start as low as $9.95. Hurry to Wilco now. Baseball action continues tomorrow when the Phillies meet the Expos at Met Stadium. The action begins at 635 right here on the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. Barry Christensen goes back out to pitch the eighth inning for the Phillies with Montreal leading it by a score of two to nothing. He'll be facing the meat of the order. Andre Dawson, Al Oliver, and Gary Carter. Now the Phillies and the Montreal Expos continue tomorrow night. This series at 7.05 is supposed to be a little bit warmer tomorrow night. It'll be Dick Ruthman going against Bill Gullickson. Then on Sunday afternoon at 1.35, Mike Kruko and Ray Burris. As an added treat on Sunday, every fan 14 or under will receive a free chocolate Philly fanatic. They help make your this Easter a little nicer. Nice seven, Game time seven, Sunday seven, again seven, is 1.35. The attendance tonight is 7,795. Smallest crowd. April of 1975 here at Veterans Stadium. So the weather has kept quite a few away. Montreal leads this game two to nothing. Andre Dawson will lead off. He's hit a home run singled and flied out to right field. Larry Christensen has pitched fairly well, but the Phillies trail two to nothing here in the eighth. There's a windup by LC, pitch to Dawson, a breaking ball low for a ball one and nothing. Ball of no strikes to Andre Dawson. 1 0 pitch to Dawson, another breaking ball missing for a ball, it's 2 and 0. Christensen has his side from Diaz. The 2-0 pitch. Couldn't miss by much. Breaking ball just a bit low for a ball. And it's three balls and no strikes to Andre Dawson. Here's the 3-0 pitch to Dawson. Over for a called strike. It's 3-1. The 3-1 pitch to Andre Dawson. Grounded to third. Mike Schmidt has it. Long throw and a low throw. Great scoop by Pete Rose. And Dawson is out. Mike Schmidt making a low throw. Is in the dirt. And a tough hop for Rose who hung on. One down. Was a great play, uh, Harry. Uh, not an easy play uh, at all for Pete. He's getting pretty shifty around that bag. Kept the ball, kept the mitt low, and just came up with the ball. That was perfect fielding play. Here's Al Oliver, and he looks at a pitch on the outside corner for a called strike. Oliver is single grounded out and struck out. One strike pitch to him. Bouncing ball to Manny Trio. He gloves on a big hop and throws, and Oliver is out. That's two down in the eighth. And it'll bring up Gary Carter, who has walked, popped up to short, and lined out to left. Carter thrives on opening day games, and for Montreal, this is their opener. In the last seven opening days for Montreal, he has hit five home runs. Wind up by... Christensen, the pitch to Carter is a slider outside for a ball. Christensen, who had really an outstanding slider the last three outings of the spring, has not been able to control that pitch tonight. Pitch to Carter, fastball inside for a ball. It's two and nothing. Two balls and no strikes to Gary Carter. The 2-0 pitch to him. 
Breaking ball. Strike, it's called. Two balls and one strike to Carter. Carter was swinging fastball, and Christensen gave him a good slider. Top of the eighth, Montreal leading it 2 0. Wind up by Christensen, the 2 1 pitch. Strike, it's called on the inside corner, it's 2 and 2. Gary Carter steps out of the batter's box. Now he's ready. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Low for a ball. A full count to Carter. Warren Cromarty waiting on deck. Wind up by Christensen. 3-2 pitch. Low ball four. He walked him. That's the fourth walk given up by Christensen. Carter is a two-out base runner. Bring on Warren Cromarty. Cromarty is flied out to left. He is singled and hit a pop fly to deep left field that fell in for a single when the wind blew it back into fair territory. And now Pat Corrales comes out of the dugout. And he may opt to bring in a left-hand pitcher to work to Warren Cromarty. He is calling to the bullpen. For the left-hander is Sparky Lyle. So Christensen is taken out here in the eighth inning after pitching a good ball game. The Phillies could score none for him. We have a pitching change for the Phils. We're in the eighth inning. It's Montreal two and the Phillies nothing as Christensen gets a big hand as he leaves. And we'll be back after this brief pause. The faculty and administration of Widener University share a belief that has made the institution one of the most sought-after private universities in the Delaware Valley. The belief is simply that higher education, while presenting the theoretical knowledge to broaden personal horizons, should also be practical. Widener's 10 master's programs and its curricula at the Delaware Law School, leading to the Juris Doctor degree, are all designed for the person seeking career mobility. If a master's degree in engineering, taxation, industrial management, or health administration won't serve your needs, perhaps the combined degree programs leading to the Master of Business Administration and Master of Engineering degrees, or the Master of Business Administration and Juris Doctor degrees will. Widener also offers the Master of Education and three separate Master of Science in Nursing degrees in Oncology Nursing, Nursing Administration, and the unique Burn Emergency and Trauma Program. If you are considering graduate studies in the day or evening, let Widener University widen your world. Super dealer Len Freed is breaking down the barriers of new car buying. He knows you're tired of going from dealer to dealer and only finding a few models with good gas mileage. So he's got a super selection, more models of gas-saving Chryslers and Plymouths. Choose from the Spiffy LeBaron, the Nifty Reliant K, or the Thrifty Horizon. A super inventory to make your car shopping a pleasure. Super service, too. To get more out of your car shopping, insist on the super selection you'll find at Len Freed's Town Motors, Exton, Pennsylvania. Well, his new pitcher is Sparky Lyle, the left-hander, making his first 1982 appearance. Trying to get Warren Cromarty, the left-hand hitting right fielder for the Expos, out. Gary Carter at first base, two outs. Eighth inning, Montreal leading 2-0. Good seven and two-thirds innings turned in by Larry Christensen. And he leaves the game trailing 2-0, and Cromarty steps in. Sparky Lyle coming off a good spring in which he gave up just one earned run all spring. Here's a pitch to Crow. A check swing high chop to Sparky Lyle. He wheels and throws. And another good play by Rose. And Crow Marty is out. Sparky nearly hit the runner Crow Marty with a throw to first. And Rose had to worry about Crow on the ball but made a good play. No runs, no hits for the Expos. No errors and one left. We go to the bottom of the eighth. With a score, Montreal 2, Phillies nothing. This Phillies game is being brought to you on WPEN 950 AM, the station of the stars. Hope you'll join us at other times for Andy Hopkins. WPEN, here's Robert Goulet. Jim Martin. Boy, how in the world does he get down that low? Mm, that's Al Hibbler. And the original 950 Club with... Grady and Hurst. I'm from Philadelphia. Andy's in Melanic City. 950 WPEN. 
where now it's Phillies baseball. Hi, this is Bill Campbell, reminding you to be sure and join me for today in Major League Baseball, 30 minutes before each and every Phillies baseball game. Also remember that due to a 76ers conflict, this game is being heard on WPEN 950. Normally, your official home of the Phillies is 1210 WCAU AM. Harry Callis, Andy Musser, Richie Ashburn, Chris Wheeler, and Tim McCarver bring you all the exciting play-by-play action. Then, after the game, I'll return with Major League Baseball today. Once again, this is Bill Campbell, reminding you that this game is being brought to you on WPEN 950 due to a 76ers conflict. But normally, remember your official home of the Phillies is 1210 WCAU AM. Bottom half of the eighth inning, Phillies trailing 2 0. Len Matusik is going to come out and pinch hit for Sparky Lyle to lead off the Phillies' eighth. Matusik, 27 years old, last year had a big year at Oklahoma City at 315 with 21 homers, knocked in 91. Came up to the Phillies at the end of the year and got three hits and 11 at bats, including a double, and he knocked in one run. No, it's not going to be Matusik. It's going to be Greg Gross to lead off the inning. Greg Gross coming out to bat for Sparky Lyle. Greg has been a bat once. He has one hit. Got a pinch single yesterday. There's a windup by Rogers, and the pitch to Gross is a curveball. It's over for a called strike. One strike to Greg Gross. Now the pitch to Greg is low for a ball, and it's one ball and one strike. Expos two runs, six hits. Phillies no runs and two hits. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch to Gross. Swing and a high pop-up foul down the third base side. Might be playable. Wallach over. It's just out of his reach. A couple of rows back in the stands. Ball and two strikes to Greg Gross. Gross to be followed by the top of the order. Yvonne De Jesus and Pete Rose. Phillies just two hits off Rodgers. Singles by Matthews and by Vukovic. Here's the one-two pitch to Gross. Fastball high and away for a ball. It's two and two. Jim Fanning gets left-hander Woody Fryman. Right-hander Jeff Reardon up in the bullpen. The two-two pitch to Gross. Just missed a little bit outside for a ball, a full count. Montreal playing gross around to the opposite field. Wind up by Rogers, 3-2 pitch to Gross, swing and a fly ball into right center field. Dawson will track it down, though, and Andre makes the catch. Just to the right, a straightaway center of field. Gross is out, one down. Quite a piece of pitching by Steve Rogers here tonight. A, a two-hit shutout so far, and when you consider the fact that he sat around for three or four extra days. Here's Yvonne De Jesus, and he swings and pops a foul down the right field side. It'll be out of play. One strike to De Jesus. Yvonne is struck out, grounded into a fielder's choice, and walked. One strike pitch to De Jesus. A late swing and a foul out of play, and Rogers in front of him, nothing in two. Cincinnati has defeated San Francisco 7-0 tonight. Frank Pastore, the distance of four-hit shutout. Dan Schatzeter took the loss. Here's the two-strike pitch. Swang and a foul in and out of the glove of Gary Carter. It's still two strikes today, Jesus, with one out of no base runners. 
Rogers has struck out nine. He has walked two. Here's a windup by Rogers and the two strike pitch today. Jesus, a line drive, but spared by Rodney Scott. Well hit by Yvonne, but right at Scott, that's two down, and that'll bring on Pete Rose. Pete is 0 for 3. He has struck out, grounded out, and hit a hard one hopper at shortstop Chris Spire. Atlanta Braves are well out in front of their home opener. They lead Houston 5 to 1, bottom of the eighth. Dale Murphy is homered for Atlanta. Here's a pitch on the way to Rose, and it's low for a ball. It's one and nothing. Phillies have had only one runner each third base. Gary Matthews in the fourth. One zero pitch to Pete Rose. Swing and a foul. It's out of play. One ball and one strike to Pete. Ball and a strike to Rose. Two outs, no base runners. One one pitch to Pete is low for a ball. It's two and one. Steve Rogers has been in command for Montreal tonight. Here's the 2 1 pitch to Rose. Swing and a line drive left field, but it's a foul ball. Spared by Jackie Donnelly. Down near the seating area, down the left field line. Good grab by Jackie. I saw Jackie Donnelly uh, do that one night in Connie Mack Stadium. Only the ball was fair. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, you'd have thought he had a hot potato there when everybody started running at him. 2-2 two -two pitch is bounced softly to Rodney Scott. He has it and throws. Rose is out, and the Phillies down in order in the eighth. No runs, hits or errors, and none left. And at the end of eight, it's still Montreal. Two, Phillies, nothing. We hope you're enjoying this Phillies baseball game. Normally, the official station for Phillies baseball is 1210 WCAU AM. But due to a 76ers conflict, this Phillies game is on WPEN 950. Remember, each broadcast begins 30 minutes before the first pitch with Bill Campbell and Major League Baseball today. Then, Phillies warm up just before the game. Next, exciting play-by-play -play with Harry Callis, Andy Musser, Richie Ashburn, Chris Wheeler, and Tim McCarver. After the game, it's star of the game. And then Bill Campbell returns with Today in Baseball. That's baseball's very best, from pre to post game and all the action in between. Don't miss an exciting minute. Remember, this game is being brought to you on WPEN 950 due to a 76ers conflict. Normally, your official station for Phillies baseball is 1210 WCAU AM. Baseball action continues tomorrow when the Phillies meet the Expos at Bet Stadium. The action begins at 635 right here on the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. We move to the ninth inning. Ed Farmer will be the Phillies' new pitcher coming on for Sparky Lyle. Farmer making his second appearance of the young season. He's pitched an inning, given up no hits and no runs. He has struck out none and walked one. Well, youngsters, the first giveaway day of the spring is coming up on Sunday, April 25th, when the Phils play Lottie Smith and the St. Louis Cardinals. All youngsters 14 or under will receive a free Phillies maroon color vinyl jacket. This great-looking item is compliments of the Phils and Wendy's, a great giveaway item for baseball's best fans on Sunday, April 25th, when the Phils play the St. Louis Cardinals at 1.35. Get your tickets now. Tim Wallach will lead off to face Ed Farmer. Wallach has flied out to right, doubled, and he is struck out. 2 0 Montreal leading ninth inning. The pitch to Wallach is a fastball high for a ball. One and nothing to Wallach. He'll be followed by Chris Spire, then Steve Rogers. The pitch to Wallach. He pops a foul back over the screen. One ball and one strike. Well, 
One and one to Tim Wallach. Farmer's one one pitch to him is a fastball on the inside corner. It's a called strike. One ball and two strikes. Wind up by Farmer. One two pitch. Breaking ball. He broke his bat and the bouncing ball to short. De Jesus throws out Wallach. Really sawed him off. Wallach, the barrel of his back going just past the mound. Wallach is out of there one down. That'll bring on Chris Spire. Spire is 0 for 1. He's walked, hit a sacrifice fly, and popped up. Now the Phillies in the bottom half of this inning will have the meat of the order coming up. The face Steve Rogers, Gary Matthews, Mike Schmidt, and George Vukovic. Here's a pitch to Spire and a fastball high for a ball, one and nothing. Wind up by Farmer in the pitch. Swing and a fly ball, shallow right. Coming hard, Vukovic, he's there, makes the catch. Spire is out, two down. And that'll bring on Steve Rogers, the pitcher, who's 0 for 3. But has given up only two hits and shutting out the Phils through eight innings tonight. Seems like we just saw this guy. We did last October. Saw too much of him in that uh, miniseries. He won two ball games, beating Carlton both times. Pitch to him is high for a ball. It's one and nothing to Steve Rogers. He pitched a great game against the Dodgers uh, in the... We finally lost the uh, National League Championship Series on Rick Mundy's home run off Rodgers. Rodgers coming in in a rare relief appearance. 1-1 pitch to Rodgers. He swings and he misses. A ball and two strikes. Farmer can be really tough on right-handers. He's a big guy and it's tough to pick him up. Can be a little wild. 1-2 pitch. Missed a little bit high for a ball. Two and two to Steve Rogers. Here's the 2-2 pitch. That's high. Ball three, a full count to Steve Rogers. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Swing and a foul back and out of play. Still three and two to Steve Rogers with two outs and no base runners. Wind up by Farmer, three two pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out. Rogers goes down swinging, and the Expos go down in order in the ninth. No runs, hits, or errors, and none left. We go to the bottom half of the ninth inning, and still Montreal two, Phillies nothing. You know, Whoppers is where the whoopee is. That's a fact. Because there's whoopee in every Whopper malted milk candy. You know it. That great-tasting, chocolatey-coated malted milk crunch. Right on. So where's the Whoppers? Uh-oh. Did you eat them all again? Yep. Each and every one? Mm-hmm. Left not a whoopee for me? Nope. Say sorry. Sorry. Say sorry, I'll never do it again. Nope, please. I like you and all that, but when it comes to Whoppers, a promise made is a whoopee unpaid. <laughs> People who compare IRAs choose Gerard. I compared banks, savings and loans, money market mutual funds, and I found that Gerard's IRAs were the most convenient and had the highest interest rate at the time. The Gerard IRA was extremely simple to set up. I made an appointment and was able to start my IRA account at lunchtime and still have time for lunch. Call for an appointment to set up your IRA today. Gerard's fixed rate is 14.55%. Gerard! Substantial penalty for early withdrawal. Member FDIC. It's the most refreshing way to make the most of every day. And wherever you go and whatever you do, there's something big waiting for you. For you. Coke is it, the biggest taste you've ever found. Coke is it, the one that never lets you down. Coke is it, the most refreshing taste.
Well, we go to the bottom half of the ninth inning. The last chance for the Phillies. It'll be Gary Matthews, Mike Schmidt, and George Vukovic to pay Steve Rogers. As we move to the bottom of the ninth, we'll pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. The Station of the Stars. 950 WPEN Philadelphia. With Andy Hopkins from 10 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon. Tell a friend. Gary Matthews standing in. He has one of the two hits surrendered by Steve Rogers. He is grounded out, singled, and struck out. Rogers pitch to Matthews. Is low for a ball, one and nothing. Matthews, the only Phillies runner to reach third base tonight. Wind up by Rogers. 1 0 pitch to Matthews. Line drive left field. There, Reigns. He misjudges it. It goes over his head. Matthews on his way to second. He is there with a double. But Tim Raines should have caught that baseball. He stood in his track and never moved back until the ball went over his head. I have a feeling, Harry, that uh, he didn't get a good look at it at first, and then I guess he had trouble with the lights. He never came close to catching the ball. He seemed to be looking at it, seemed to have lost it, tried to pick it up, and I think when he did pick it up, it was, it was just too late. That was a break regardless. The Matthews at second base with a double on a ball that soared over the head of Tim Rain. There's Mike Schmidt. Schmidt is grounded out, struck out, and walked. Mike looking for his first hit of 1982. Here's a stretch by Rogers and the pitch to Schmidt. Swings, he chased the low breaking ball and he missed it. One strike to Schmidt. Rogers tough on Schmidt. He's one of the few pitchers that Mike has a lot of trouble with. Last year, Schmidt was two for 17, including the division series of Steve Rogers. There's a stretch by Rogers and the pitch to Schmidt. High for a ball. One ball and one strike to Mike Schmidt. Gary Matthews at second base. Nobody out. Ninth inning. Expos lead 2 0. Here's the stretch by Rogers and the pitch to Schmidt. Swing and a pop foul. It's out of play. And Rogers in front of Mike Schmidt. One ball and two strikes. The Expos keep Jeff Reardon and Woody Fryman up in the bullpen. Matthews at second base. Nobody out ninth inning. Here's the one-two pitch to Schmidt. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Strikeout number 10 for Rogers. One down here in the ninth inning, and that'll bring on George Vukovic. Drew Schmidt, a, a perfect pitch uh, in that with that count of a ball and two strikes. It was a little outside, but it was borderline. Schmidt chased it. Too close to take. Vukovic has struck out, singled, and popped up to the mound. Here's the stretch by Rogers. The pitch to Vukovic is a bit low for a ball, one and nothing. Ninth inning, Matthews at second base and one down. Rogers okays the sign, the stretch, and the pitch to Vukovic. Swing and a fly ball right center field. Dawson on his horse. He's there, makes the catch. So Vukovic is out. That's two down, and it's up to Gary Maddox to keep the game alive. Maddox has struck out, lined out sharply to right center, and struck out. Matthews still at second base with two down. Hey. 
Maddox stands in. Here's the stretch by Rogers. So the pitch to Maddox. Bouncing ball to third should be the ball game. Wallach's throw. Maddox is out. It's all over, and the Montreal Expos win it two to nothing on the brilliant three-hit shutout pitching of Steve Rogers. For the Phillies in the ninth, no runs in one hit, no errors leaving one. Final two nothing Montreal. Back with the final totals in a recap right after these words. Hi, this is Bill Campbell, reminding you to be sure and join me for today in Major League Baseball, 30 minutes before each and every Phillies baseball game. Also remember that due to a 76ers conflict, this game is being heard on WPEN 950. Normally, your official home of the Phillies is 1210 WCAU AM. Harry Callis, Andy Musser, Richie Ashburn, Chris Wheeler, and Tim McCarver bring you all the exciting play-by-play -play action. Then, after the game, I'll return with Major League Baseball today. Once again, this is Bill Campbell reminding you that this game is being brought to you on WPEN 950 due to a 76ers conflict. But normally, remember your official home of the Phillies is 1210 WCAU AM. Baseball action continues tomorrow when the Phillies meet the Expos at Bet Stadium. The action begins at 6.35 right here on the CAU Phillies Baseball Network. Well, in recognition of his outstanding defensive play in the eighth inning, Pete Rose is the winner of tonight's That's a Whopper Award. One case of Whoppers, America's favorite malted milk candy, will be donated to the St. Christopher's Hospital in Philadelphia on behalf of Pete Rose and Whoppers Malted Milk Candy. Montreal winning tonight by a score of 2-0 on a great job by Steve Rogers. A three-hit shutout by Rogers. He struck out 10. That's just one off his career high in strikeouts in a game. Twice he has struck out 11. Rogers in command. Gary Matthews got two of those three hits for the Phillies. The other one by George Vukovic. As the Phils now are 0-2 and Montreal wins their opener. Here are the totals for Montreal. Two runs, six hits, one air. They left seven. For the Phillies, no runs, three hits, no errors, leaving six. Steve Rogers wins it, 1-0. The loser, Larry Christensen, 0-1. Stay tuned for the postgame show. Rich will be talking to Andre Dawson. We had a home run of the first inning, accounting for the game-winning run batted in. Dawson picking up a couple of hits in a nice win for Montreal. Tom Keegan has been our engineer for Rich Ashburn, Andy Musser, Chris Wheeler, and Tim McCarver. Harry Callis saying... Thanks a lot for listening. The final score, once again, Montreal 2 and the Phillies nothing. And this is the Phillies Baseball Network. The Philadelphia Phillies, Major League Baseball action at its best. This game was sponsored in part by Budweiser, the king of beers. Reach for that distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. By Gerard with George and George Bank by phone for the way you want to bank. By the Daily News, the paper with the sports section that's number one in the city of winners. By your local Chrysler Plymouth dealer, headquarters for America's new car revolution. By the advertising and promotion agency of the Middle Atlantic Milk Marketing Area. By the Philadelphia Coca-Cola Bottling Company. For the most refreshing taste around, Coke is it. By MAB and the more than 300 MAB paint stores, dealers, and Rich Lux home centers. MAB paints, your best investment since 1899. And by Natural Light, the beer with the taste for food. When you're good and hungry, what's more natural than Natural Light? The announcers on this broadcast are employees of WPHL Television. Ken McCarver and Chris Wheeler are employees of the Phillies. Announcements promoting attendance at Phillies games are paid for by the Phillies. Now stand by for Star of the Game 